Embedded engineers, developers, and makers, welcome to In Case You Missed It, Embedded Insights, the weekly news show all about embedded technologies and solutions from embedded computing design. It's Friday, May 2nd, 2025, and I'm Ken Briota, Editor-in-Chief of Embedded Computing Design and your host. These are our top stories this week. First up, PicMig, a consortium uh, to develop innovative open standards in embedded computing, has announced its Compact PCI Serial Revision 3. This is the third revision of the standard, and the organization said it is intended to ensure future viability and scalability. Compact PCI Serial was originally developed as an extension of the open Compact PCI standard to meet the demand for robust modular and powerful computer systems in industrial and embedded applications. Developers who want to build applications for harsh environments in industrial, aviation, or any other industry can now download the new specification from the PicMig website and start designing immediately. PicMig member companies are also already working on their very first products based on the new specification. Our next story comes from Peter Winston, uh, the founder and CEO of Integrated Computer Solutions, who has written a post for us all about AI-powered code modernization and how his team uses machine learning to transform legacy systems. He writes specifically about three of his developers, all using one AI tool and chasing one shared goal, and how they led to entirely different but equally valuable solutions. You don't want to miss that one at all, so check it out down in the description. Finally, we're featuring a field report for our own assistant managing editor, Tierra Oliver, who is out at the annual NI Connect conference in Texas this week. There, during its keynote, Emerson announced hardware and software enhancements to the portfolio that address the go growing complexity in test. Uh, obviously, test is huge for NI Connect. Tierra's excellent article outlines all the innovations Emerson talked about, including the upcoming release of a new version of System Link software and third party hardware support for Instrument Studio via custom plugins. The rest of the conference featured live demos, new products, technical expert panel sessions, and a renewed focus on technology innovation, including academic research and presentations from academia. Check out our coverage as it continues coming in. I hope you enjoyed all those shots. Coming up fast, your Embedded Computing Design editorial team will be in Taipei, Taiwan for Computex 2025. Check out the links in the description to follow all the news from the show or even to get involved. Now that's it for this week. Make sure that you look for the In Case You Missed It LinkedIn newsletter for all even more stories that you don't want to miss coming out every Monday on LinkedIn. You can subscribe over there. Uh, subscribe while you're here to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any of our shows. Make sure that you're liking and sharing our episodes too. We want as many folks as can uh, get their eyeballs on this show. Visit EmbeddedComputing.com for all the news in the embedded computing space and follow us on LinkedIn and all across the web. Please reach out if you'd like to advertise on In Case You Missed It. Make sure you never miss an episode of In Case You Missed It, Embedded Insights, and I'll see you next week. I hope you're having a marvelous spring.